driver that was made by user J Martis on YouTube. He's probably got, I would say, the most intuitive of the flyback drivers I've seen out there. So I'm not really familiar with this chip here, but likely some type of gate driver designed for, you know, flybacks or something similar. But I would just, you know, assume this is the oscillator. It's setting the drive frequency duty it's driving this mosfet but i believe the only thing different that's going on here is he get, he's got this uh current sense network right here that in conjunction with what he says is a power limit set here i'd imagine this sort of automatically regulates your maximum power so the output's driving this 260 here 27 ohms on the gate ultra fast diode for faster turn off and he's got what looks like a little active snubber going on here to help with the switching in the MOSFET as well as um, he's got the flyback from the primary returning to the rails here through this uh, capacitor here so what I've got is just about a microfarad or so I've just stacked some 100 nanofarad polypropylene caps um, on the rails a couple ultra fast diodes to help that return and I've got a couple hundred nanofarads um, resonant cap right here since I'm just using a regular gate driver I don't have a current sense network or anything like that I'm just using my uh, PWN module in its place here minus that and you know pretty much everything else is the same I've got a random MOSFET that I'm using I pulled from somewhere a long time ago. I don't even know what it is. I can't read the markings, but I feel more comfortable with that than the fake 460 that I did have on there. This circuit has worked out pretty good for me. These values seem to work pretty well. I've greatly reduced the heating that would normally have been in the switch. Now, it's possible that my output could increase a little bit um, by fine-tuning these values, but right now I'm just going to work on the primary turns. Alright, so this is going to be at uh, about 30 volts at 50% uh, duty cycle. The voltage isn't that impressive. of wind coming off that I can feel it <laughs> when I'm not pulling an arc it feels like a small fan is blowing Heat sink on this is just a little bit warm, which uh, is actually pretty good for that power level of this type of driver. So that snubber and that uh, little capacitor bank right here seems to be doing the job. Now that's with about 14 or so turns, so I'm thinking about removing a few of those to see uh, if I can get more output. Alright, now I'm down to 10 turns. And this particular flyback seems to really not want to pull jack anything unless I bring the duty cycle up to about 50% uh, or so. So now with the 10 turns, 50%, I'm going to run it at uh, 20 volts. So pulling about a little over half an amp. So the 
voltage is kind of a little higher. It jumps a little further out now. I feel the wind a little bit more too. So I'm going to try about 30 volts now. Now it's really going. This, uh, this was the cheapest flyback I could find. It came with a surprisingly large core, which was pretty sweet, and I'm surprised. So this thing withstood a good deal of voltage. Um, I'm not able to record it. Can't record it too well, but um, it was jumping. Man, it, it must have been jumping a good two inches or so. Um, so not a bad little flyback, I'd say. And... Um, I could turn that up to considerably more power, but I kind of feel like I've reached the limit. I would say that if I tried to push more voltage out of that, it's really not going to survive uh, very long at all. But I, I'm only pulling 4 amps peak, so I could probably bump that to about 60%, run it at 30 volts, and get even more impressive orcs. Uh, but before I kill it, I'm going to see if I can tweak it for uh, better interrupting. But it's going to be a little hard to get settings just right to get really good interrupted output as opposed to just running it straight like that, pulling arcs.